On the 15th of November 2017, the results of the Australian postal vote on marriage equality were released. The majority, with 61.6%, indicated that the law should be changed to allow same-sex marriage. The ANU Ally Network held a postal survey announcement gathering in the pop-up village. Roni TV interviewed a few members of the ANU community about their post-plebiscite feelings. I'm feeling so many different emotions, like happiness, sadness, anxiety, nerves, like it's everything. Like this morning I was really nervous and felt sick. When I found out, it was kind of like shell shock and then I started crying and everyone was crying. I was at the, um, the picnic in the park and it was, kind of, it was beautiful. Oh, I'm pretty happy. No. Uh, happy with the outcome. Uh, just sort of come to the pub for a celebratory beer with a few of the other students and postdocs. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, it is the result, I think. Well, for me at least, it was the result I expected, but um, it, you know, it didn't reduce any of the excitement. I think in the office we were all really excited and um, shed a little tear at the computer screen. And yeah, yeah, it's a really great day. It's a pretty good day. Pretty happy about it. I was a bit nervous, but like it worked out the way it was supposed to. I think I want the law to be passed um, as soon as possible, and hopefully not the really terrible one which got drafted this week, which was going to like roll back a whole load of other protections. But the one that's sort of got a lot of bipartisan support. Um, from now, I think we just want um, MPs to listen to the people. I think there's been an overwhelming vote. Um, I think we can see that there's a. Um, you know, overwhelming number of people who have supported this and I think that um, we just want our politicians to listen to us. I'm hoping that the government will listen to the Australian public for once. Um, they should have done this, you know, before the plebiscite and just voted it in. But I hope they, I hope they look at this survey and they ho I hope they change the law and make it equal. No ifs, no buts, no different bills, no more reasons to discriminate against us. Just pass it. I would, well, there's a lot of things I'd say to Malcolm Turnbull, but if I could say one thing to Malcolm Turnbull, it would be just to get this done, get it done as quickly as possible so that this issue is in the past, because really it's about time that we should all be able to get married and nobody should be discriminated against. I was going to say that love always triumphs, and we always win, and we are queer, and we're here, and we're fucking proud.